Hey guys, what's going on? Nexius here, and today in this video, the third part of whatever this series I'm gonna call it, uh, basically we are going to be covering macros. Now macros are mostly used for convenience and efficiency, usually allowing you to do stuff to targets that you do not have targeted. So for example, um, instead of having to click on your enemy, it will do something else instantly for you. Or if you, instead of clicking on your party member, it's gonna do it to your party member without having to click on him. And if you have a focus target, same thing. So I'm gonna give you guys an example here, or I'm going to give you guys an example. I have add arena target macros here. So slash cast add arena one, two, and three for three V three. If you wanna go four and five for fives, so you can go ahead, but I only play threes and twos. I don't care about fives. It's kind of a dead bracket anyway, so it's kind of pointless, but we do have one, two, and three. And anyone that's in that position will always be the target of this macro. So for example, if you queue arenas, you'll notice that usually the enemy team pops up as a uh, UI basically. And whoever's the first one up at the top is arena one, and anything below that is the next number. So arena two, arena three, etc. So let's say a druid is arena one, the rogue is arena two, and mage is arena three. If you need to CC the mage right away, you can use the arena three macro and it will do whatever you're doing to that target, which should be the mage. If you're doing it to the druid, same thing, arena one. So that's basically the main focus of this. The party one is pretty similar as well. So it's gonna apply to your target party member. Uh, if you have a party member below you, that's party one, next one's party two. You don't want to go and take the time to click them, find them, and then use the ability. So by these macros, they are going to do it all for you instantly without having to do any of that work. It's so much more efficient, it saves so much more time. Overall, it's just much better. So in terms of Windwalkers, I have a paralysis one for arenas. I have arena one two and three and then for detox i have party one and party two if my priest is party two and he gets wyvern stinked i can take off that cc instantly without having to target him so there you go that's why you want to use these kind of macros the next one is the focus macro if you want to do something to a focus target without having to target him you can do that i have one for paralysis here and i have one for uh my kick so you can go slash cast target equals focus and then put the spell there counter spell paralysis polymorph anything you need to so the way a focus macro works is basically you can set them to focus. You can click it, right click their portrait, set focus, and it sets it. Or in my case, I have key binded control F to set them to focus. So I'll show you guys that right here. Uh, control F target, control F, sets them to my focus. And now let's say I want to interrupt him. Well, if you don't have this macro, you have to look at him, target him, and then use your interrupt. But with this macro, it's automatically gonna do it to your focus target. So as you can see here, I'm targeting this. Let's say this is a warlock casting fear. I don't have time to go target him and uh, interrupt. So what I'm gonna do is instead is use my focus macro and it automatically does it to that focus target. So that's why I run the t uh, focus macro as well. So you want a focus macro for your kick. You want a, a uh, arena target macro for your paralysis. You also want a focus macro for your paralysis and also party uh, macro for your detox and your tiger's lust. In terms of the final macro, or actually two more macros, my focus storm earth and fire, this is very good as well. If you're too busy fighting a target, you can quickly just uh, throw your storm earth and fire on the other guy if you need to. And if you want to cancel it, we have a cancel aura macro, slash cancel aura, and then the spell name. So if you get hand of protection and you get heal to full and you want to take it off right away to do some damage, you can put slash cancel aura hand of protection here and it will take it off instantly by using this. That way you don't have to go to the top right of your screen to right click it to take it off. So that's basically the same thing with this. It just saves you some time. I have Storm Earth and Fire here because there will be times, guaranteed, that when you go to Storm Earth and Fire, uh, it's gonna get slowed, it's gonna get kited, or at some point you need to get rid of it so you can go back to full single target damage, just like this. So the way I do that is I just simply throw it on, and when I need to bring him back, I use the Cancel Aura, which brings it back instantly. As you can see here, it just brings it right back instantly. So those are all the macros I have. I have a Focus Kick, Focus Paralysis, uh, arena target for paralysis, uh, party for detox and tiger's lust, focus for Ceph, and a cancel aura macro. I'll show you guys one more macro as well, which is quite good for RBGs and world PvP. Slash assist, focus, focus, slash start attack. What this does is if you have a target caller like a death knight or something, and he's calling out to the team who you guys should be targeting and attacking, uh, what this macro does is if you have a key bound, you will automatically start attacking his target. It's gonna highlight the target for you. That way you don't have to look around for his target, which can be pretty annoying or annoying so that's why i have this macro as well very good against like 40 versus 40 world pvp or av or something so that's why i like to have this macro as well in terms of the rest of the macros here this is all like t-morph stuff so we won't even go into that um, but i do hope you guys enjoy this small guide on macros very basic stuff again if you are playing a different class just replace the spell name with something else so in this case uh, slash cast at arena one paralysis if you're a mage replace it with polymorph counter spell whatever you need to do Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this was useful. If you have any questions, don't be afraid afraid to leave a comment down below. Um, if you do have 
uh, let's say in-depth questions about macros, you probably shouldn't really ask me. I'm not a master at macros, uh, so it can be a little bit rough uh, for me because I really just copy-pasted this stuff or I stole this stuff from copy-paste threads uh, on the forums. People like to leave add-ons and guides and stuff. I checked the guide so many years ago, which had these add-ons and like, I, I don't, I'm not a macro master. I don't create my own macros and stuff. I just took these off like the forums and stuff so many years ago and I've been using them since. So if you guys have any really uh, interesting questions that are like really tech or whatever in terms of macros, I don't really know anything. So I may not be as useful. If you're looking for any other macros, maybe you'll find them here. I don't know. Um, as for the end of this video, don't be afraid to leave the... Uh, as for the end of this video, if you need those macros, go to the video description below. You should be able to copy paste all of them for yourselves. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on my next video.